Hey, so look, I decided to make a very terrible decision in my life. Actually, it was a great yet terrible decision. I decided not to eat any food for seven days, but only take in two tablespoons of sea moss a day, which is five calories a day. I do not recommend it for you, but if you're interested in seeing how exactly this ruined my life, yet made my life better, go ahead and watch the video. If not, skip it now. Don't waste your time. And uh, I'll catch you next one. See ya. What are you doing? I'm laying on the floor. Why? My Yo, what's up? Welcome back. All right, so check this out. I have a good video for you guys, a very good video. I spent the last seven days eating nothing but two tablespoons of sea moss a day, water, and my regular multivitamins, all right? And I documented the entire process from start to finish, um, and I want you all to see this. So it would technically be a sea moss or just straight water fast, whatever you want to call it, for seven days. Well, almost eight days, but you guys got to see this. And going into this, this experiment, I figured I would lose some weight. Um, I would be a little tired. I would be very hungry because I love to eat. Like literally I thought my body was going to be like, dude, what's happening? I thought I was going to have like hunger headaches. Um, my brain was just going to explode. I was just going to be miserable every day of the week just from my stomach. Like just being upset with me, essentially. Um, so if you've ever done a water fast, let me know in the comments below what your experience was. But let's go ahead and dive right into these seven days so you can see exactly how these past seven days went. Then we're gonna come back, recap, and look at like the scientific results. Because to take this one step further, I did a urinalysis test and I have a scale that reads out all of like my body water, my weight, um, my metabolic age, protein, all that stuff. So I did it at the very beginning and at the end so we can compare those as well. So let's go ahead and get started. I want you all to see this. <laughs> Just watch this, see how this goes, and then we're gonna pick back up. So, yeah. Okay, so it is like 5 a.m. Uh, this is gonna be day one of the CMOS only no other food but sea moss. Day one. Day one. All right. I'm gonna run a half a mile. Oh, it's like 26 degrees. Yeah. So I just finished my run. And I'm working on the row machine real quick. Got a couple minutes of this. And then, yeah, get my day started. So she knows I'm doing this whole like only in sea moss for the week. And she decided it's my favorite breakfast. I asked you. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Because there's anything you don't want me to make. Like, how often do you be making breakfast for me? It's Valentine's Day. Oh, it's Valentine's Day. Yeah, oh, right. Okay. Okay. You had food plans? Yeah, you was just like, nah. <laughs> that's like, that's a, how I felt. That's first. like a crying cap right there. <laughs> Capping. Capping. Okay, so I'm getting ready to take my two tablespoons for the day, but also have all, come close, have all these pills. So Chris, like, feeds me pills, like, when I'm going to. Right, okay, so I'm gonna take my two tablespoons for the sea moss, but I'm also going to stick with my regular, my regular like dosage of pills that Kristen gives me, and she's gonna explain all these later on. She's gonna tell you everything that's in here, but I'm sticking with this as is because I've always taken this for like the past like, two months or whatever, so I don't want to make that adjustment right now, and then we have false uh, readings for anything. So I'm popping all these pills. And then I have the sea moss here. This is our sea moss. I'm gonna take two whopping tablespoons of this gushy stuff there. And yeah, so that's gonna be my event. So my plan is just to take the pill, pop it, and watch, and I gotta take more. Darn it. Right. Yeah. This was a chewable. My favorite. A one big scoop. 
Alright, that's it. That's my food for today. Two sailor spoons and I want pills. And then water. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna Alright, so this is what Christine is having for lunch. It is basmati rice and some beyond meat sausage. I think I showed you how to make this a couple years ago. And then she has like some dressing she likes to use. She reads these books, the Plant Paradox books from the guy named Dr. Gundry. And she has some, what is this? Uh, it's just a salad with um, with uh, mushrooms. Okay, salad with mushrooms. Baked mushrooms. Baked mushrooms. Baked muffalo. Baked muffalo mushrooms. Baked muffalo mushrooms. Okay, that's what she's eating. Yeah, sweet, sweet. And uh, this is what I'm gonna have: the dishes and some water. Yay! Yeah. Can't tell already. I'm already very salty about my decision. It's the worst decision ever. It's only day one, hour three. So Chris ordered me like a urinalysis uh, test so I could use it so we can show you documentation of like what changed in my body. And it got delivered to the wrong address, our neighbor across the street. So I was getting ready to be like, man, I guess I got to eat today and start tomorrow. Uh, this is going to be a weird week for me. Like, I love eating food. Like, I love food. Oh, look, they just, they don't eat their food right. Like... They left all that pizza. They got a whole nother pizza right there they're not touching. And she ate the rice and like, come on now. Like they don't, they don't eat that food right. And I, this is, this is my left, this is all my, this is what I would be destroying this right now. Bruh, like they don't, they don't eat their food right. But, got the urinalysis strip, so I'm gonna go do my piss test and we're gonna see. Uh, Man, I'm, I'm already not, I'm not even excited about this. Man, is this man, this is wasting food. Come on. So I was getting ready to do my pee test and Chris told me I should probably do it in the morning instead of like three o'clock in the afternoon, which means I gotta do it tomorrow, which means I need to eat today. It's crazy. So I'm starting tomorrow, seven days. It's not a breath, you having you all right? Yeah. We're not a breath. No, I'm just happy I look so good. You do look good. All right, so I'm gonna start tomorrow. Uh, I guess I gotta go eat that food they left laying around. It's gotta be done. It's gotta be done. It's gotta be done. Wait till tomorrow. Gotta wait till tomorrow. Mm. Mm. Tomorrow though, we on it. Okay, so since I, I wasn't able to start today, I, I've realized I'm very gluttonous. Like I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm gluttonous because I had two large waffle fries from Chick Fil A, the meatballs, the rice I showed you, both the boys like have some pizza. And then, like, I'm about to have, like, two of these. Like, so, I, I feel like I'm going to starve. But it's going to be good for me, though. So, tomorrow. Okay, it's morning time. And I got my pea stick. So, let's go ahead and get started. This is, let's go ahead and get started. So, it says dip it in here for two seconds. And then take it out. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. All right, take it out. Why have any excess along with this? What the frick? Why is this so? It's all thick and weird. It's all pee thick and weird. Oh, man, that's weird. I'm gonna go to the wait a second. I gotta go to the bottom. All right, so looking at everything here. I suppose what this, okay, so negative for glucose in the urine and whatever bourbon urine in it is, is moderate, I figure, or low, moderate, whatever that is, I figure that out. 
And this one's more in the uh, like low to moderate section for ketone. This one looks like it's right here. Blood looks over here. pH looks more 5.6. And it's like trace amounts of protein. And these ones all look decent. So yeah, that's what we got. So we'll compare this in a week. All right. Okay, so today's the official start since yesterday uh, was a failure. But um, it's like 1.54 right now and I don't have the desire to eat. Probably because Chris isn't making delicious smelling food. But uh, yeah, so I feel good, drink some water, took my regular pills and then the inulin powder. Uh, I'll be taking that a little bit later. That's some of you usually having like a drink. So this one here is supposed to be like a fiber or whatever. So I'm keeping everything pretty much the same, minus eating. Uh, so the same pills, vitamins and stuff we take. No new vitamins. So I guess a new one she just got, which is uh, creatine. She just got this one, but I'm not going to take this one until the week's up. So I'm sticking with what I was already using so that the urine sample and everything is pretty much the same. And uh, yeah, so yeah, day, day one asterisk. This is temptation here, okay? Christine's mother came over with three bags of freshly baked cookies. She was trying out this almond butter recipe. Like, are you serious? Like, are they serious? But I'm freezing a bag for myself and uh, I'm not gonna eat it, but still, like, come on. Like, what is with y'all? Oh, it smells so good. So it's a uh... Day two, how are you feeling? Like I'm not hungry. My body isn't saying it's hungry. But, like you're cooking food. And I like food. Like I like to eat food. So like smelling sauteed onions, or like mushrooms, just makes me want to eat it. But it's not like a strong desire. Where I'm like, I need to eat it. I'm just like, I want to I wanna eat it. Try. I think you're a little delusional. I haven't even started the sauteed onions. Are you going crazy? Are you playing with me? No, I really haven't started the onions. I'm still on the cutting board. My food's delicious. <laughs> yeah, but okay. All right, well, maybe I'll lose my mind. But uh, yeah, I feel good. Oh, you got a little drop in your beard. Yeah. Saving it for later. Mm, nice, uh, nice little snack. Yeah. Snack, snack. So it's still day two right here, Wednesday. Um, but the thing is, like, I'm not actually hungry. My body isn't hungry. I just want to eat food. Like, I love to eat food. Like, I thoroughly enjoy eating food. So, all I've been doing for the most part of the day is thinking about food I want to eat. So, right now, I'm currently on, I want a big wooden bowl. So, I'm going to TJ Maxx tomorrow and get, like, a big, long, horizontal bowl to, like, stack food in to eat for my, like, one meal of the day. Because we only really eat once a day. Um, with like snackish throughout the day anyway, so it's kind of like intermittent fasting already, so this isn't too crazy, but yeah, so I just keep thinking about food. Like I'm not hungry, but I want to eat, just because I want to eat. So, yeah, but that's, it's only, it's only day two, so we'll see what happens as the rest of this week goes along. I got, well, oof, five more days ahead of me, so we'll see what happens, but yeah, I feel good. Okay, so it's the morning of day three, and uh, Usually, like I've been trying to, I'm going to usually wake up at, uh, my alarm goes off at 4, 3, and I get out of bed around like 5 or something like that. Or it goes off at 4 and I get out, whatever. But anyway, um, past two days, I have not, I have not gotten up. Um, so right now it's like 7, 7.30. So I've not gotten up the past two days. I don't know if it's because of like my body or what, what. I had it and got up, so we're we'll trying them all to get up on time. Um, but yeah, it's uh, just let you guys know. Yeah, okay. All right. Stop. 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 So I'm awake, I'm out of bed, but I don't I don't feel charged up. Like I don't know if it's because you all woke me up super early, but even still, like we we'll sleep last night at 11, and I didn't really get out of bed until like 7 30 so i had enough sleep but i just don't feel i don't feel charged like look at my eyes like i just don't feel charged up um 
I'm, I don't feel hungry either, but I just don't feel charged. So, I don't know. I, I don't feel like this usually, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. All right, so Boss and I are in Marshalls right now, and I see some very good potentials. Like, this one looks pretty good to eat out of. Nice and deep. Well, that one's kind of cool, but that's been too much. Nah, I'm not gonna get that one. This one may be cool though. Put like my rice right here, so just a stack of rice. And then like, whatever I want here. I'm also looking at this one too, cause like it's wider. I'm not sure yet, I'm not sure. If I get a new knife too, so I can cut all my vegetables hardly. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that one looks cool. Ooh, this one looks nice too, boss. Yeah, this one, you can bring this one to my home. Can I take this one to your home? And this one to my home. Handcrafted in India, and nice. This one. But like knowing me, I probably want to get the big one. This looks super cool though. Oh, well, I'll update you guys later about this. It's gonna be awesome though. Okay, so these are the three bowls I settled on. So when I have my one meal a day, because the way we're gonna start eating now, which we already kind of did, I'm um, just having like one big meal. What did you say, buddy? Okay. One big meal and then you know, like a snack and a shake or something like that. So this is gonna be like for like my big hearty salad maybe, like a really big, like fill this up. It's like right here of rice and then like greens and then whatever mushroom. Really like it? This may be just like a long bit of rice. So I couldn't figure out which one I wanted, so I just got all three. Okay, so I got Chris eating out the bowl because uh, I can't right now, but I want to see how cool it looks, and that looks good. What do you nice. think? That's nice. amazing. Nice. She's really hungry, so she doesn't talk much, but yeah, that's, that's it right there. Okay, day four. Uh, it's like 4, 10 a.m. I'm gonna go for my run. I feel a lot less tired than I did yesterday. Um, I wasn't woken up by boss, so yeah. Ooh. Let's go. Okay, okay, it's like okay. 7 a.m. Okay. What day is this, five? Day five. Day five. Give it all the family. I didn't leave the house this morning. Oh, um, oh. Yeah. Didn't leave the house this morning. Um, woke up at four. Could have left, but I was like, I don't feel like it. Yesterday, you got it before. And then, oh, was up I all day. A baby. Setting up Beyblades? Mom, love me. I love you, buddy. Um, yeah, I was just tired, but like the end of the day, I was just tired. Like my body was tired. So I know when I'm super tired, when my muscles are tired, especially my leg muscles, are like, bro. So I was thinking that's how I felt. Right now, I feel the same, like my legs feel tired, but it's like early in the morning and I'm dressing. So yeah, but still not hungry. No hunger. My body's not saying eat. I just keep thinking of cool recipes I want to make. Like I saw this oyster, this uh, mushroom oxtail recipe I wanted to make. So I was thinking about oxtail yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw the oxtail recipe I want to make with mushrooms. Oh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Chris Ooh. says I'm very lethargic. Quite am. Today's a lethargic, uh, low energy kind of day. And she was trying to finesse me by sending me to my uh, studio. And then by the time I got back, her and the boys would be gone off at the farm so I could just relax in the house. She's very sweet. But I countered that offer. So I'm like, I'm not, nah, nah. That's no, no, no. So. Today, to say the least, I'm feeling very uh, low energy. Uh, yeah, today was day five. So I'm feeling low energy. Uh, I slept very, very well. I went to sleep last night around like 10, 10.30. Um, so I had enough hours of sleep. It's just my body just, just low on energy. So it was weird, I feel like I had spikes, right? So it was like, the beginning phase, energy was regular. And then like a couple days into it, energy dipped down a little bit. Then the next day, back up where we're supposed to be. Then, like, back down. So, tonight I'm in, like, a down phase. But, um, I still kick some ass, though. But, yeah, so I'm feeling good. Feeling good. Um, not hungry still. Again, not hungry. Just, 
Yeah, but I have been looking up a lot of food recipes. Oh, this might have like a very intense food channel feel to it soon. Yeah, very intense. But all right, let's keep uh, let's get the move and. Uh, so we're currently at Chuck E. Cheese. I want to get cheese. So we're currently at. Oh, you want to one? Get in there, mom. Nice. So we're currently at Chuck E. Cheese, and the boys had pizza and French fries. And like, I'm just looking at the fries. I'm like, those probably taste delicious. I know they taste delicious, but I'm not hungry. Still not hungry. Um, body still physically a little bit tired, but. You know, I'm not gonna miss a fun time with my boys and my baby. <laughs> um, so yeah, what's today? Five? Day five? Yeah, day five. So technically three days. This day and then the next two. So next Tuesday I'll have my foods and I'll get to uh be two, and this two and a half days. Almost, almost, over. almost over. I'm gonna just go to sleep. Sleep my day away. Yeah, I tried to. Try to do that. I have a, I have a uh, Beyblade tournament game that I'm thinking about going to maybe tomorrow. So she just hit me because it's a surprise for the boss. So you should just admit on the camera she hit me. Obviously. Mom. Mom. All right. I don't know if it's a secret. Uh, uh, yep, got to go. Okay, so today is day six. Yeah, day six. Um, uh, I got enough sleep, but I feel, I still feel a little, uh, tired. I got a feeling my legs. I'm a lot more irritable uh, than I usually am. Like, right now, like, bruh. But, um, yeah, I'm still not hungry. It's just, I feel like my body is, is consuming or out of energy, you know? Like I'm, there's no energy in my body. So I'm moving through the motions. Like I woke up this morning at four and my alarm went off. And I could have got up and like got out of bed, but I was just like, nah, I don't feel like it. And I just laid back down. And I woke up at like seven. But, um, yeah, it was a lot more irritable. Like, it's just like, but that's not it, so, yeah, so we're all so far. And before I forget to mention, like, last night I just felt cold, and then today I also felt cold. But I think the temperature in our house is like 85 degrees, but I just feel cold. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know what's up with that. All right, yeah, okay. All right, so it's still day six. Um, just came from a Beyblade tournament, so a lot of moving around and whatnot. It's cold out. Oh, I'm tired, as you can see. Um, yeah, but I'm looking at a lot of cool recipes I want to make. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, my lips feel dry. And my hands don't work. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, today is day seven. Yeah, today is day seven, so it's the last day. Ooh, squat. It's the last day. Um, I still feel sluggish, a little lethargic, but other than that, Still don't feel hungry. Um, I feel like this could be something I could do for longer, but I'm happy today is the last day because I've been dreaming up so many recipes. Like so many recipes that I want to make. Oh my God. I got this like vegan, I got this recipe in my head. It's like a vegan, it's like a mushroom. It's like a stromboli, stromboli. It's like a vegan stromboli, but it's, it's gonna be so, oh my gosh, it's so good. But, um, but yeah, so. Yeah, today's day seven. Uh, still feel a little sluggish. Oh my gosh. My legs feel a little tired. But um, again, I've only been taking in 10 calories a day. So clearly my body is uh, stealing some stuff. Um, 
Yeah. Oof, yeah. All right, so today is the seventh day. We're at Ruby Tuesdays for mom and the boys. And uh, yeah, they're eating really good food. And this is what I'm eating. But today is the day seven. So I'm excited because I have some really awesome recipes I'm gonna be working on. But yeah, so, uh, oh yeah. All right, then tomorrow's gonna be Wayne. And check in my your analysis. And then from there, we're, we're good to go. All right, see ya. So I'm not sure what just happened, but I just bent over a little bit and threw up a little bit in my mouth. So I bent over a bit of a toy and then just a little bit threw up in my mouth. Yeah, come buddy. It's weird. Weird. So right now I'm preparing my meal for tomorrow so that when I get ready to eat it, all I gotta do is throw it in the oven, cook it essentially instead of having to do prep work, no prep work. Oh yeah, super excited. But again, still not hungry. I feel a lot less lethargic right now. It seems like later in the day, like in the beginning of the day, throughout the day, I'm kind of just like, oh my God, I'm tired. But like towards the end of the day, I get a little bit of boost of energy. Um, and again, I'm still not hungry. I'm just excited to eat because I like eating food, which is still super weird to me. But yeah. All right. So I guess I get to show you guys uh, my meal for tomorrow. So let me show you. I rolled out the dough I made. And now I'm putting some walnuts here. I'm going to roll this up and add the next ingredient. So now I got my oyster mushrooms here. Coated in some oil, so that's toasted sesame and hemp oil. And I'm going to put in some batter here, which is almond flour, um, hmm, ground flax seeds, and lemon pepper sauce, Old Bay. Oh, lemon pepper seasoning and Old Bay. I'm going to take this. Oh, what? Put it right back in here. Did you say double batter? Yes, I did. Double batter. Bubba, bubba, double batter. Double battered that mother. Double battered. And put that right here. Mm. Double battered. Double battered that mother. Double battered. Double battered that mother. Double battered. Double battered that mother. Double battered. 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 I'm free to eat food. Me too. Yeah. I'm free to eat food. And mom and my mom, and my mom so let me do the uh, eat food. Eight. Your analysis and the scale for you guys. Oh, I just showed pictures of uh, and, uh, your body change. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's do that. Okay, my tummy game. All right, gotta get the tummy game. All right. Okay, give me one second. So yeah, it looks like uh, whatever this ketone is got super dark. But we'll take a look and compare. Didn't hold as well. Like they still look good, so I'm pretty sure they're gonna be delicious. But it did not hold as well like a sushi roll. So I'm probably gonna try rice paper next time. We'll see. It looks bomb though. Oh my goodness, sir. And this here is the first meal. Excited. First bite. Yeah. I'm joking. We'll see you later. All right, I gotta eat, bye. What are you doing? I'm laying on the floor. Why? It still looks, still looks full of food. That's, that's what happens when you eat. Did, did you overeat? 
ate too much food, and then I had a milkshake. Another milkshake. You had you had two milkshakes. Um, Were you full after the first one? Yeah. And you had the other one again. Anyway. I was full before the first one. I was already full. No. But I wanted. I gotta start monitoring you. <laughs> okay, so that was that was my week. Um, like I said, I was never actually hungry. I just wanted food. And when I got food, I ate too much of the food and almost like croaked on, croaked on the floor. But let's look at the results here, the scientific results. So I would like for you to tell the people what it was like living with a starving, quote unquote starving man for seven days. Go. Uh, one word, I'm gonna say weird. Um, because you would just get these weird thoughts that would go through your mind that had nothing to do with anything that was going on around us. Like we're driving to Chuck E. Cheese, I asked you, you know, how'd you sleep last night? And you're saying, hey, can you Google how to make hamburger buns? That's not how you slept. Uh, there's a lot of scenarios like that. Uh, just a lot of obsessive thoughts about food and just like randomness, you know, just waking up in the middle of the night, like, hey, you think I can make a vegan burger out of walnuts and I forgot what else, mushrooms I think it was. Um, and yes, I do, but I also think we can sleep and talk about this tomorrow. Um, so it was strange at most. Uh, he was also, uh, you were also, um, you're a little more lethargic by day five, which, you know, that makes sense. You started getting tired, um, but you wouldn't accept any help. But that has nothing to do with you starving yourself. You're just, you're a stubborn guy. Um, so yeah, no, I would just say weird. It was just, it was just entertaining and weird. That's it. Okay, okay, okay. Here we are. Mushrooms. There we go. <laughs> right, so we take the mushrooms and then we take the um, walnuts and put it into rice paper and make like, like little, um, oh my God, it'd be like uh, when you, that you fly on a picture like uh, the, uh, what's that thing called from Taco Bell? The, uh, oh, what is it called? Where it was like, it was like a taco inside of like a quesadilla with like a chalupa. I just want you guys to know that he's not acting right now. This is what it's been like. He just goes down these alleys, down these rabbit holes, and he just gets so excited. You can't see his face, but he's got like a huge smile on his he's face. So he's so excited. And I'm gonna be honest, like he gets so excited and brings up food so much. I may be developing like a food aversion, so I might just stop eating. I don't know, we'll see. It's so good. Yeah, it'll be good. Yeah. yeah you wanna talk about it later? Yeah. I'm okay. Right now. <laughs> yeah, now that was the other thing. Like. <laughs> I would get out of the shower because the kids are in bed. It's like nine o'clock and he's out there making bread that he can't eat. <laughs> and you know, I don't eat that late. So nobody's eating it. The kids are asleep. The dogs don't need bread. Like who's eating this bread, but he just wanted to make it. Um, so it's, it's been a different world, really. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> um. Thank you, Eddie. Appreciate it. Yeah, no, no problem. It's just my honest opinion. <laughs> that chalupa would be great. <laughs> so I want to start off with the scale readings, all right? So I started off at 171 pounds, or 171.8 pounds, and then I ended at 157.4. So that was like 14.4 pounds that I lost there. Um, yeah, so let's take a look here. So you can see the weight difference here uh, between the two. So I had the 14th to the 22nd. I still went with the 14th because my weight wasn't gonna change from that day to the day I started. So I just left it like that. Um, the BMI changed. That dipped down two points. So as you know, the BMI is your body mass index. Uh, my body fat, went down, wow, like three points. Yeah, four, five, six, so yeah, three points. My body water went up though, just a little bit because I was drinking a lot more water. Um, and then my skeletal muscle, that went up as well, which is interesting. So let me see here, because it says what it is. The skeletal muscle is the ratio of muscle involved in the mechanical system of our limbs and other parts of the body. So that's interesting, my actual skeletal muscle went up. My BMR, which is my mm -mm -mm, 
by the basal metabolic rate is an uh, inactive state. In an active state, this is the minimum necessary energy needed. So that went down. My body, or my fat-free body weight went down as well. My subcutaneous fat went down. My visceral fat, so the fat around my lungs and my organs went down. S muscle mass went down, wow. Bone mass went down. My protein went up, which was interesting. And hold up, so my protein went up, how? Protein plays a vital role as it builds. That's weird, my protein went up for some reason. And then my metabolic age went from 30 to 27. So I, I, by essentially fasting and not eating for seven days, my body reversed in aging by three years. Wow, that's nuts. Okay, wow. Wow, okay. And then that's, <laughs> that's interesting. So let's take a look at the, whatchamacallit, the uh, urinalysis now. And we're gonna look at that. I got the little chart here that I can look at and it'll tell us what everything means. Okay, so let's start from the bottom of my glucose. The glucose looks like it stayed the same. Here on the left side, you'll see, and I'm putting this up on the screen for you guys. Here on the left side, this is day one and the right side is day seven, technically day eight. So what you'll see, the glucose is still in the negative range. So glucose is an indicator of diabetes, sugar in the urine, so I'm good there. Bilirubin is an indicator of liver or gallbladder issues. Looks like I'm negative there. Uh, I went more negative. Yeah, it was already low, but I went even more negative by not eating. Now ketone, that was a huge change right there. Ketone, indicator of diabetes, ketosis, and ec level, something in my urine, uh, essentially means my body was burning more fat than it was energy, and it definitely shot up. It originally was in the like trace or low category, but definitely shot up to the high section over that. Like, and obviously, because my body was, there was no energy, like, I had, no, I had nothing to give but body fat for my body to stay alive. Uh, specific gravity is the efficiency of the kidneys filtering. So that one seems to have been, at first, more greenish and went down to the more neutral negative level. So that's good. Uh, the blood is indicator of kidney stones. Blood seems to be about the same for blood, so I don't have any kidney stones coming in, which is great. So my pH level originally looked like it was about 6.5. And once it was done, I still wanna say it was around 6.5 as well. So I have a 6.5 pH level, naturally. My protein, now we saw in the stats with the scale that my protein changed, but here for the protein, Indicator of kidney stones. It looks like it was the exact same as well, which is more so in the one to three section. So I guess I have a little more protein than necessary. So I need to keep an eye out for that. The urobilogen is an indicator of liver issues. That one is still in the same level where it looks like it's a little bit more yellow, but we'll call it more of like a trace normal section there. And then nitro, tin, and leucotin are both the exact same. One's an indicator of urinary tract infection, and the other one's presence of bacteria and urinary tract infection. So, looks like I was good on both of those ends. Those are the results there of my seven day fast. Like, the scientific as we can give it to you. And, you know, a lot of people say when you do fasting, it helps, you know, repair your body. And we kind of just proved that because my metabolic age reversed by three years. So instead of my body being 30 years old, it was 27 years old. Now, of course, with the scale, it just sends an electric shock through your feet, through your whole body, and just reads things. So it could be calculating everything with the weight loss and everything, the overall age of my body. But from what we could tell there, technically my body did repair itself. Um, 
yeah, so that, that was a very interesting, a very interesting time. Um, it was a very long seven days for me, mainly because I just felt so tired throughout it. But I did, towards the end of the day, start to feel like I was getting more energy back. But then at that point, it was time to go back to sleep. Um, yeah, so I would just love to know if you've ever done a seven day fast, let me know what it consisted of, like what did you do? Because I know some folks will just eat fruit for seven days, no like vegetables, no meat or anything, or just drink water or don't drink water at all and no water, no food for seven days. And I would just love to know how you went through that process. Because for me, I thought it would be a grueling process. You know, usually when you hear of like, um, like intermittent fasting and stuff like that, folks will just eat before the sun rises and eat after a certain time and stuff like that. So it's like a 12, 13 hour gap. But I never thought of going like 180 something hours without food. I thought I would be a lot more hungry. Like I thought my body would be reacting a lot more than that. And honestly, I feel as though if I wasn't living such a, I'm um, just saying like a, a first world lifestyle and I had to be out on the move. I would probably be out on the move more, but since I had the ability just to lounge around, like not go to work and stuff like that, I do believe that played a factor into my lethargicism. That's a word of just being lazy. But I do wanna make sure you all understand that me choosing to not eat for seven days is a luxury. Like that's a big luxury. And that's something I don't overlook at all. Um, it's something my, my buddy Mike used to call it a champagne problem. You know, like I'm choosing not to eat. Like, uh, oh, my bills are a little behind. Like that's all champagne problems in the greater scheme of things in the world. So this experiment was a luxury for me to just say I'm going to choose not to eat because a lot of folks don't have that option. So shameless push for you to do something great for your community. I would love for you if you could donate to like a local uh, homeless shelter or a food pantry or a food bank or something like that. Or even next time you go to the grocery store when they have like those bags and they say, you wanna buy, you know, a bag to donate to, you know, to a family and eat, get it, get it. Cause you just never know. You just never know. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's all I really wanted to talk about with this one. I thought the video spoke for itself there so you can see the actual trials and tribulations of an adult man struggling not to eat his kid's food. And <laughs> you thought it was funny? Nice. But yeah, so thank you so much. Um, do me a solid favor, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and I would love to know your questions, comments, and concerns in the comments below, and we'll go forward. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you, and I hope you have a beautiful and amazing day. See ya.